Hey everyone, how's it going? Into Weapons back again with you. Was shopping on Amazon the other day and stumbled across this lighting fixture that kind of replaces your home interior lighting fixtures, but it had some really cool features to it and it was fairly inexpensive, so uh, the curiosity got the best of me and I had to go ahead and try it out just because I'm really into LED technology and I thought maybe this kind of fixture would be kind of cool in my bedroom because of the fact that you have different types of LED colors, different types of modes, uh, as well as a built-in Bluetooth speaker, and it's all controllable by your phone, obviously, with Bluetooth. So it had some really cool features, and it's that newer technology to the market. You really don't see a whole lot of this out there yet. Uh, LE Lighting Ever has a really cool product here. It's got some really good reviews, actually. It's a, I think, 4.7 out of 5 star with uh, numerous reviews. So it's actually a, a very well-received product. Uh, so I'm really excited actually to have it and put it in my bedroom and, and check it out. I currently have an old ugly fixture in here. It's an older duplex that I'm living in. So this will definitely be an upgrade. Uh, as you can see there, I got the lighting fixture uh, laid out on the bed. It was uh, shipped to me very quickly. And uh, it's uh, a whiter outer housing that's uh, translucent that will have the LED technology in there. And then in the middle there, you can see a kind of a little uh, flowery type pattern. And underneath that's a mesh that protects the screen or the uh, speaker for the Bluetooth. Uh, speaker that's built in there. So that's pretty cool be able to push music through it. Uh, came with some really good instructions including how to use the uh, app and some of the other features along with that to be able to control the uh, lighting fixture. Uh, the mounting seems very easy. The little metal bracket there will, will screw into the current sub housing of the you know the lighting fixture that's underneath the, the uh, drywall there up in the, the ceiling uh, but it's got four magnets that point downward and the magnets essentially attach to the underside of the lighting fixture and just kind of holds it in there there is some additional steel reinforcements there uh, cables that attach to the uh, mounting into the uh, roof or the ceiling there so that it won't fall on your head or anything like that as you're walking underneath if for some reason those magnets would let go which is very unlikely but uh, it does have some precautions there as well packaged very nice sent to me very well uh, very simple very easy doesn't look like there's a whole lot involved with it but we'll go ahead and take you through the steps of an assembly into a house I'm gonna go ahead and switch off the power to my house and we'll get started on that but uh, really excited to give this a try and uh, we'll do a quick review of it as soon as we get it installed as well so we took the old light fixture down. I turned off all the power in my home before working on the light fixture there. So I never do a single room at a time. I, I tend to prefer just to turn down the whole house's power. Uh, that's why I don't have to worry about being shocked at, at any point during the, the time of working with these types of applications. So uh, you'll notice there that we have the old light off the ceiling. Uh, we remove the panel that holded the old light onto the ceiling, uh, replacing it with the mount for the LE LED Bluetooth speaker light fixture. Uh, we just used the, the uh, current screw holes that were in the sub base light fixture uh, frame there that comes with most homes once you remove your light fixture from a home. So uh, you should have something under there. Go ahead and screw those in. It only needed two screws to really securely hold it to the uh, ceiling there. From that point then I just uh, removed the wires. Uh, so I, as you can see I stripped the ends of those wires as well. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and plug those wires into the input for the LE light fixture. And it uh, should just mount right up to those magnets and we should be all set for uh, going ahead and programming or using the app to get it started. Alright, so here's the light installed on the ceiling. As you can see, the clips are hanging from that bracket just to make sure that the magnets don't give out and fall. it falls to the floor. Uh, you can see the light. The uh, lights are now inputted into the uh, electrical system there. And I just tightened down those screws with that input and uh, they're pretty secure there. We'll push everything up into uh, the housing there for the light fixture. We'll go ahead and flip the power and we'll see if everything's working. We don't start a fire. All right, so I went and flicked on the main power for the house, so we should have power going to the light fixture at this point. We'll go ahead and flip the light switch, see if we get uh, any sparks or smoke coming off it when we get power to it. There we go. It actually looks like everything is working properly. It's giving off a really good light. I'm actually kind of surprised. Typically, you don't expect to have LED technology giving off as good of light or as much light as traditional lights, but this one actually lights up my room a little bit better than my previous light fixture, which is standard uh, filament bulbs. So, uh, actually, it looks pretty cool. I'll get it pushed up into the ceiling, and we'll take a closer look at some of the features and how it works with the light and the Bluetooth speaker. I've taken a, lot, a few days since our last segment and uh, had time to play around with the light. As you can see, I did mount it up there. In fact, it just kind of sticks with the magnets to the housing that's within the, uh, the ceiling there. So it's really easy to take down. It does have a chain that kind of catches it so it doesn't fall on you if it were to come loose from those magnets. But those magnets are pretty strong. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. 
So the first things that I've noticed uh, since using this light is that uh, the light switch still works for turning it on and off like a standard light. So for instance, right now it's on uh, the on position, obviously, and I'll turn the light off and it'll go off. Likewise, when I turn it on, it'll turn back on. It is, it's very responsive. It's a little bit slower than the regular uh, lights that you'll find in a traditional home, but uh, the, the light that it provides is good. It uh, kind of automatically defaults to the uh, soft whites. So you're getting kind of a yellowish hue to it for the room, but that's pretty standard for a, a typical home in at least the Midwest. We uh, tend to see more of the uh, yellowish type lights in our home. So, uh, but there isn't any way that you can customize that to come on to a specific level of brightness or a specific light setting, uh, different color wise, uh, if you're using the light switch itself without some sort of intervention with the app that they provide in order to control this particular uh, light and speaker system. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you real quick the, uh, the app that I downloaded here. It was a little bit tough to find, but it, I did find it. In fact, I just did a search for iLink, but I had to do little i with no dash or no space, link with a capital L, so I-L-I-N-K. Uh, and again, I think that in the instructions it, it has a dash in there, so it was a little bit more difficult to find, but I did find it, and I'll, I'll give you a preview of you guys here in a second. So, so what we're going to show you here is the app that they have you download, and you can see here it's the iLink app. We'll go ahead and click on that. And it's, it's going to request app permission to your Bluetooth. We're going to go ahead and allow that. It'll turn on your Bluetooth if it isn't already on. And this uh, app, if you, as long as you keep it running and your Bluetooth on, if you were to walk into your room and have the light switch on and then have controlled this with the off, as you can see you have an on-off lamp. So right now I'll go ahead and turn it off. And actually, I don't think I'm connected here. I'll have to show you that process. But if you were to walk back into the room, what will actually happen is the Bluetooth will reconnect to the uh, powered light that you have because the light switch is on. It'll make a like, uh, almost a ringing noise, like a ding, 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 uh, letting you know that it has connected. And then you'll be able to control that light once again with the, with the phone app. If you do switch the power light switch off to your room, uh, what will actually happen is it will disconnect everything. And once you flip that light switch back on, unless your uh, Bluetooth is connected it won't connect again so uh, you just have to kind of make sure your settings are uh, set up I, I find that having using your phone I, at least for uh, turning your light on and off at least in your bedroom for me it's not really ideal so I, I usually find myself 99 uh, percent of the time just using the light switch and having it go to that default color but when you do have company over or you're kind of showing it off uh, if you do have some music that you'd like to play in your room uh, it does have some really cool features and it's nice to have that interaction with the phone app so it's not a, a complete loss as far as using the different colors and the, the speaker system itself exclusively because you have to have your phone on and in the right settings so just to kind of give you a heads up on that but what we'll do is we'll click on the uh, settings menu there and you can see you have a few different uh, abilities and options here what we're going to do is Bluetooth connect and we're going to hit the search button and you can see the iLink app comes up. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to connect and now we should, well probably not I guess it's not going to make the sound so uh, but to turn the light on and off we'll have the the app there you can see it turns it on turns it off. We have the ability to adjust the dimness level the brightness level I should say to whatever setting we would prefer we can change the colors and it's a 256 color RGB kind of spectrum so you're able to kind of make any custom color that you'd like and you can see it's pretty responsive with this app which is really neat uh, and then they have preset colors down here on the bottom as well so you got red, yellow, green, blue, a darker blue and then a kind of a purplish color and then you also have the uh, feature here which is kind of fun if you shake it I believe uh, maybe you have to click on this little app up here this little button that says shake but we'll, we'll do that and if you shake your phone, it'll kind of randomly do something with it. So change the color as far as a custom color out there. So that's kind of a neat little feature. I don't ever use it, but my kid loves it. And we'll go back here out of shake, and we'll go to uh, down towards the bottom here. We have the lamp, so you're going to be have some more of the lamp options again that we have here on the main screen. We can go to the warm, and we can choose whether we want the cold, the cool, or the warm. And I was referring to that before here in the uh, in Wisconsin, at least in some of these states where we don't have a, a lot of sun comparatively to the southern states. A lot of people end up having the warm. Uh, warmer 3000 K I believe is kind of where we're at uh, light fixtures where it gives you a little bit of that yellow and it's really what it does is it, it makes us feel a little better in the in the, <laughs> in the winter time uh, because we don't get as much sun and I guess that's kind of the research behind it and the studies that have shown that that's kind of why we have more of these warm lights in the uh, the northern states uh, then again you have the dim and bright that you're able to adjust on that 
I prefer the cool, preferably, but you can see that you have the ability to kind of mix your own. And then they have the standard, the white, the natural light, the sunlight, sunset, and candlelight. And then uh, towards the bottom again, you also have, uh, I'll show you some of these scenes that they provide. These are just kind of automatic pre-screen filters. And you can see they have a rainbow one where it's just going to go through the different colors. And uh, it's kind of a fun little thing. Again, my daughter likes that. She actually really likes this heartbeat one where it beats a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but that really makes her laugh and stuff. So uh, we got the blue one as well that you can do that. You have an alarm type flash. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you have the option. Uh, breathing one, I, I, I like this one a lot. This is kind of a nice one. It just kind of slowly fades and transitions between the different colors. So it's kind of nice. Uh, they also have a field green one, which I think kind of transitions between the different types of green colors that they can provide with the LEDs. Uh, sunset, where it kind of goes from a, a whiter to a yellow and then a darker color. That's pretty cool. And then you can also have it as you're playing your music, because again, it does have a Bluetooth speaker in there. Uh, it will interact with the uh, music itself. And of course, I don't have any music playing, nor can I play some in this video because of the copyright issues. But uh, that is a pretty cool feature. I find that unless it has a distinct bass uh, type of rhythm, it won't actually pick up like a, uh, a very gentle or a very uh, smooth type of song. It won't pick up the, the minor changes in tones and things of that nature. So you really have to have a distinctive type of sound, uh, something with some uh, large bass or uh, perhaps a lot of uh, up and down in tones and stuff like that where it's going to catch those types of changes. Uh, and then the other thing they have here down here at the bottom is the music tab. And uh, that's going to allow you to, and it's only going to allow you to do this if you're connected via Bluetooth. So again, I'm going to show you this option. So what we're going to do is go up here to your Bluetooth settings. And we're going to go ahead and uh, pick the iLink. And you can see it is there. And we're going to connect to it. If you don't have it there, we'll have to go ahead and just, you know, search for it and, and find it as an available device. That's not too difficult to do, but now you can see it's connected for media audio. You can change that as well. Oh, and there's that sound that I was uh, referring to earlier. So it's actually when it connects to your Bluetooth that it'll make that uh, connection sound. And you have the options to uh, unpair it as well as uh, provide the media audio uh, usage uh, uh, rights for this app. So we'll go back again to the app and... Uh, Back to the music. Now if I had music playing what will happen is it'll give you some uh, abilities to go ahead and adjust the uh, volumes and things of that nature. It does get pretty loud. Uh, it, it's not obviously a ton of bass to it but it does have a lot of good options for adjusting the equalizer as well as different sound settings that are preset for the equalizer. Uh, again, I can't play that for you guys here because of copyright issues, but uh, it's, a, it's a really neat program and app. Again, when you're able to use it, you're not going to pull your phone out of your pocket every, uh, you know, time you walk into your room to turn on your light and it's going to have to connect and all this stuff. So, it, But it is fun when you kind of have people over and uh, perhaps you know, you're know you using it in your living room, your garage or whatever the case is. In your room it's nice to have just the option to be able to change that when you do feel the want or need to do it. Uh, if you, you know, you're watching TV and you want to have a lower light or a specific type of light for back settings, easy, lessen the strain on your eyes. Perhaps you have some company over in your bedroom you want to change it to a, you know, a red light type of thing or some, some music playing through the Bluetooth speaker. So uh, overall it's a really neat option to have and you know I'm, I'm glad that you do at least have a decent light when I flick it off and then flick it back on that it goes to a good default setting for that light it's not a horrible you know green or red that it defaults to so they were they were smart in that respect as far as uh, making sure that it was and there goes that sound again connecting again so I uh, hope this helps somebody out. I, you know, for the price, I think it's a pretty cool feature to have some in your room or in your man cave or, uh, you know, your garage or something like that. Uh, perhaps your bathroom would be a great spot for it. You're able to listen to some music and have some different uh, ambient type of uh, colors on the walls as you're showering or whatever the case is. So, hope it helps somebody out. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate watching. Until next time, take her easy.